Hey guys, Will Cecil here, and I'm gonna walk you through how to use CRT Converter. So when you open up CRT Converter, you're gonna be met with this. This is how the project file looks, and it's three really simple steps. So the very first thing you need to do is you come over here to where it says Replace Footage, and you right click, go to re Replace Footage, File, and then you're gonna choose whatever video you wanna convert. You're gonna choose that video, click import, and then it will replace this in all of these compositions. So from there, you can immediately export if you want to. But I'm gonna show you a little bit about how the features work and kind of what you can do with it. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into, this is the UI for CRT Converter. This is where you're gonna be making any tweaks, adjustments, anything you wanna do like that. Um, so of course, we've got brightness and contrast, pretty simple, says right there. Uh, if you want to go for a more desaturated look, a more low contrast, you can do that. I'm going to put it back to where we had it. Uh, and then you have glow. So what this is going to do is this emulates the glow from a CRT monitor. Uh, usually, you're going to want that to be a lower value. I think between 0 and 1 is where you're going to find best results. But if you're working with a really dark piece of footage like this, you might want to go a little higher. Uh, just to show you, so this is 0.25. We're going to take this up to 1. And as you can see, it just adds a little bit more glow on the side of my face right there. And we're going to go ahead and pump this up to 5 just so you can see how crazy it gets. And there you go. And obviously, you're probably not going to want to do something like that unless you have really dark footage. So we're going to go ahead and put that back. Now, screen curve field of view. What that is is CRT converter actually emulates a CRT monitor. And what I mean by that is it doesn't just create this, this kind of pixely effect. It actually emulates the screen, the screen curve of a glass monitor. So you can adjust this to be more dramatic of a curve like that, or you can have no curve at all. And you can get more extreme like that. If you want to, you might start clipping in some of the edges, but you can see if you go to four by three, it'll save a lot of that. So I'm gonna put that back at 20. And as you can see, the next step is we're gonna talk about the letterboxes. So CRT Converter comes with four built-in letterboxes to emulate the shadow fall off of a CRT monitor. And that's 16 by nine, four by three, 1.85 by one, 2.39 by one. So you can just click through those really easily. And that's just a quick way to match some footage or if you want to re-export in a different crop. I do recommend if you are going to put a letterbox on your footage, I would recommend that you do that in CRT Converter rather than doing it before you put it into CRT Converter because here the letterboxes have a nice fall off and, and they are slightly curved to, again, give it that screen emulation. Uh, you can do what you want, but that would be my uh, recommendation. And then the last six controls are going to be a little bit more weird and this is where you're going to get really wacky stuff if you want to. So these are your RGB channel controls. And what I mean by that is how CRT screens work is they combine red, green, and blue pixels. And when they have them all at full value, they form lighter colors. And so I, I made it so that you can turn them off or on one by one and as you'll see when I zoom out it can pretty drastically change the image for some really interesting effects. Uh, so you can turn those on and off there but then you can also use the position commands to move them and you'll get really uh, interesting effects like that or like so this is kind of a playoff of chromatic aberration, and this is actually something that CRT monitors didn't do, but I added as functionality in case you wanted to create some interesting glitch effects or something like that. So if you want to get severe, you could put it like that, and now you've got a, a, a sought-after effect that I've seen used in a lot of places really easily. You can re-export, and you're done. Or if you want, you can actually click on the keyframe uh, stopwatch right here, and you can you can actually animate 
where the RGB positions lay. So if you want it to have like a jitter to it, or if you want it to look staticky, you can do that. And that is, it's just that easy. So then the very last thing that I'm going to go over is I'm going to show you the six different presets that come with CRT converter. So the one that I've got selected here right now is Trinitron Horizontal. So these are based off of old Sony Trinitron CRT monitors. And this, as you can see, it's clearly in a horizontal pattern. So just to go back up the list, this is a Sony Trinitron, but with a vertical pattern. This is a spherical CRT. You can see these are actual spheres. And when you start to mess with those, you can see they'll reveal themselves a little bit more like that. Next is high-res CRT. So this is probably the effect that most people think of when they think of a CRT TV, which is the short RGB uh, cubes with a little grid pattern. And this is in three varying la uh, levels of resolution. So you have high, medium, and low for when you get some really crazy stuff going on. And again, you can still mess with the RGB layers here too, putting them at different values. The colors will combine in really interesting ways and you can get some really crazy effects like that. And that's it guys, that's CRT converter. It's that simple, uh, but as you can see, there's a lot of room for you to play with stuff and to really get some interesting effects without having to worry about super complicated programs or learning new programs, anything like that. It's all right in After Effects and it's really just that easy for you to use. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on my website at willcecil.net. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy CRT Converter, and I hope you have a good day. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.